salvation they fail not as thou hast been thou forever will be great is thy faithfulness <laughs> O oh Lord my Father there is no shadow of turning you thou changest not thy compassion they fail not as thou hast been for forever oh great is thy great is thy faith morning by morning New mercies I see. All I have needed, I have has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Sing it again. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercy I see. All I have needed, I have has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Lord Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord of Jesus. Sing it one more time. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning. New mercies I see. All I have needed, I have Great is thy faith, Lord of Great is thy faith. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Lord, unto me. Give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Great is your faithfulness. My Lord, I worship you. You are the King of Kings. Great is the Lord. Greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. Man Kurosadabahaya. Laitaka Pakusoke Paya Para. There is victory in the house. All you need is a shout of praise. And let it come into your own house, in your own direction. There is victory in the house. The Egyptians you see before you, will see them no more. God is bringing victory to his children. God is turning around the circumstances of his children. God is visiting his own inheritance. There is victory in the house. There is victory in the house. I hear the Holy Ghost say the battle is over. The battle is over. It's time to walk into your inheritance. It's time to repossess your possession. It's time to recover lost grounds. It's time to reclaim lost territories. We worship you tonight. We bless you tonight. Mandodo Shandekas. 
magnify the Lord with me. Let us praise his name together. For the Lord is good and is greatly to be praised. He is glorious in holiness. He is fearful in praises. We worship you tonight. Adamama, Kyodo, Sandabakash. I command every yoke to lose his hand from God's people. Physical yokes, financial yokes, marital yokes, family yokes, yokes of barrenness, yokes of lack. We command it to break right now. Lose his hand, lose your hand from God's people. It's time for liberty. It's time for jubilee. The trumpet of jubilee is sounding. It's time for recovery. It's time to recover lost ground, lost territories. The favor of God is on you. His countenance is shining upon you. Rise up with strength, rise up with courage. And pursue your enemy, for without fear you will recover all. Pursue and recover. Without fear you will recover all. Pursue, overtake, and recover, said the Lord. For I have gone ahead of you. I have already cleared the battle. I have cleared the road. I have brought down the iron gates and the gates of brass. Reach forth, for that which is far is now near. It's at the tip of your hands. Grab it, for it's yours. For I have commanded it. Who can stop it? I have proposed it. Who can cause it not to come to pass? We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Makabaka kobo kobo hoya hiya sa bamahi kobo leziki manaha labasu baina dada shaka. One of you shall chase a thousand and two, two of you ten thousand. Combine your resources and overrun your enemies and recover every ground and recover everything he has stolen. It's your hour. It's your defining moment. It's your Kairos hour. Lift up your hands. You know what you're going to ask God? Not to do anything for you. The rules are cleared. Those of you who have been believing God for spouses, it will just come like this. Believe me, I'm sent. This whole week, if you are wise, come and look, listen to me every day. I'm sent. I'm telling you, I'm sent. I'm sent. But hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. You see, where you used to go work so hard and you get so little, abundance is going to appear in the same place. It's going to appear in the same place for you. It's going to appear in the same place. I heard the Lord said, I'm changing the 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 the, the 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 level this is announcing harvest he said where you used to gather hundreds you are going to start gathering in the thousands where you used to gather in thousands you will start gathering in tens of thousands where you used to gather in tens of thousands you start gathering in hundreds of thousands where you used to gather in that you start gathering in their millions it's harvest season it's harvest season even doubting thomas believe god in this season you will see the salvation of your god believe god in this season you will see the salvation of your god Awaken your faith that has grown tired. Awaken the hands that have grown limp. You will see the deliverance of God in this season. Lift your hands. You know what you're going to ask God? The courage, the faith to take the right step. Because the Holy Ghost will tell you to make that move. You will get instruction. You will hear a voice behind you. You will hear instructions within you. Make that move. Now ask him for the courage to make the move. Because all it takes is just a one move, one initiative. You will find that God has already moved ahead of you. The Bible said when the four lepers, they were arguing among themselves, should we go down? If we stay here, we die of hunger. But finally, they summoned up courage and moved to the camp of the enemy. Only to realize that God has already scattered the enemy and they left all the spoils for them to gather. God asked me, command the people to move forward. Tell them it's time to take action. He said the commanding word now is action. 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 Make that move. You will find out that God is already ahead of you. You will find out that God is already ahead of you. I say you will find out that God is already ahead of you. Don't see that making too many plans. Don't see that calculating too much. Make that move. The proof of faith is action. 
The proof of faith is action. If you don't have action, you don't have faith. You hang out around that mountain long enough. There are some of us that are making transition in their career. There are those that are moving ahead in their earning powers. There are those that God is advancing into new realms of ministry. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, I receive the faith, the spirit of faith, the spirit of courage to follow the leading of the Holy Ghost. To follow. It might, sometimes it could be tough. Sometimes the, res, the instruction of God might be a restraint. It might be a restraining order. Sometimes it might be tough. It might be tough on the flesh. I receive grace to make that move in obedience to your command. I receive that grace. It might be an instruction to sow a particular seed. It might be an instruction to do a particular thing. To launch a particular business. I receive grace to do it. I receive grace. It might be an instruction to apply for American visa lottery. It might be an instruction to go back to that embassy. I receive grace to obey you. I receive grace obedience. I receive grace to act in line with your direction. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Every one of you lift up your hands one more time. Apply the blood on your mind. Now there are three places the blood of, of the blood once slain is applied on a priest. Anyone that is coming for consecration, they always apply the blood on three spots. The first is that they take it, the priest takes it, apply it on the ear. That is on the mind because of hearing from God. There are things that have blocked up your direction, your hearing. He said, Father, through the blood of Jesus, clean up my spiritual perception. Second place that apply it is on the right too. Because there are things that make people are bored. They walk, nothing is coming out from it. They, they, they are making effort. They are labor. They, you, when they apply to your retail, they're talking about your heart, your work, your labor, your effort. That from now, you won't have aborted labors. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The last place they apply it is on the right toe. They're talking about your direction, your moves, the, the efforts you make. You know, you have you heard that the steps of the righteous are what? Some people are stupidly walking into one relationship that will kill them. Mm -mm. Lift up your hands. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I apply the blood of Jesus Christ on my mind, on my hearing system. Father, clean up my spiritual perception. Let me be able to hear from God and know your direction clearly. Let all the confusion in my mind disappear. Silence the voice of the enemy. You said that your sheep hear your voice and they follow you. Let the voice of the shepherd become clear again into my ears. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then Lord my God, I apply the blood on my hands. On the labors of my hands. On my work. On my ministry. On my effort. I will not have fruitless labor. I will not have aborted efforts. Whatever I lay my hands to do will prosper. When I touch something. It turns to gold because I'm the seed of Abraham. He said that blessed is that man that is planted by the rivers of living water. The man you're talking about is me. Whatsoever he lays his hand shall prosper. He will bring forth his fruit in his season. I declare today no more aborted efforts. No more aborted fruits. I will reap the harvest of my labor. Even past seeds that I've sown, that have not yielded harvest, I call them forth into this season. I call the harvest forth into this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
and father my god i apply the blood of jesus on my toes on my walk on my direction on my moves i will not make wasted efforts for now lord my steps are ordered by the lord for now lord my steps are ordered into goodly places wherever the source of my feet shall tread it becomes now my possession as far as my eyes can see it becomes now my possession that is the covenant you have given me and i step into it and i get established in it in the name of your holy son jesus christ and from this night forward the force of the covenant the power of the covenant comes alive again in my life delivering to me the blessings of abraham amen <laughs> amen <laughs> <laughs> ah lord ah ah the lords are falling unto me in goodly places i have a godly heritage surely goodness and mess shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever that is what is written concerning you that is what will be happening from now on i said that's what will be happening from now on every other program the enemy has set in motion before now i overrule it in the name of jesus christ those programs he said for your fall those programs he said to disgrace you those programs he said to toward the plan of god for your life by the authority vested in me i overrule it tonight in the name of jesus christ it's your time to recover it's your time to move ahead it's your time to possess what belongs to you lift up your hands and just give him praise and give him thanks mighty in the blood <laughs> what belongs to you now we no more shift to another person everyone put your hands this way whether you're married or not the reason is because i'm hearing cries of seven babies seven babies and four of them are boys four of them are boys put your hands like this everyone do you lift your hand like this say say lord i want to become a distributor too much cries about babies barrenness fallopian to block spans dead who told you we're in the kingdom here is mount zion upon mount zion there is what deliverance i command every dead spam and say your span count cannot measure i command resurrection into that place right now in the name of jesus christ every block fallopian tubes i command it open right now in the name of jesus christ they said your system your hormones are not balanced they give all those terms by the power that raised christ from the dead we command balance restoration order in your reproductive system in the name of jesus christ Put your hands like this. He said, whether I'm married or not, I receive my babies. At the right hand, they are going to appear. And for those who are married, I command your season to be now. I say your season is now. I say your season is now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you, it shall quicken your mortal bodies. It shall quicken your hormonal systems. It shall quicken your fallopian tubes. It shall, it shall quicken your dead fans. It shall quicken your system. In the name of Jesus, quickening power, resurrection power, I command it into your bodies right now. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Lift up your hands, give him praise. Tidal wave of the Holy Ghost is coming. Tidal wave, tidal wave. Father, we give you praise. Higher back. A woman is here, you don't enjoy sex at all because it's a torture for you. 
I see something taking place in your being. There's a supernatural work God is doing in your being. It's a double work. He's doing one on your body. He's doing one in your soul. He's removing those pains. He's removing it. Woman, you are loose. You are freed from your inside to your outside. You are loose. So you can enjoy your womanhood. It's beautiful to be a woman. I like what Michael Abdul said. He said they made Panadol and they made Panadol extra. So he said God made men and made women extra. So women and men extra. They are men plus. Extra touch, extra finish. It's obvious. It's obvious. That's why a woman that wants a marriage don't act like a man. Opposite attracts like dispels. That's the law of God. Check the poles. Get your magnet and try it. Like poles, repel. Opposite poles, attract. That's why God made them Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. People who are doing Adam and Steve. All I do is touch their mind because it's a mind, a program in the mind. Touch it and erase it here. The guy goes under the power, demon jumps out of him. Homosexuality over. He say, uh, pray for husband. It's not a pray, 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 pray for husband. Uh, it's something you need to know. It's something you need to know. And you know, sometimes it's sad that the children of this world are sometimes wiser than the children of the kingdom. There's something you need to know. Don't ever try to be a man. Don't try. In the workplace, you do it. You are the boss. Sometimes you are leading one group in church. Sometimes you lead a department. You lead other in relationship. Don't try it. Your beauty may attract him. But it won't keep him. Beauty doesn't make marriage good. Men are leaving the most beautiful women. Going for ladies. Less, much less attractive. Because... <laughs> all it takes for them to be running just be feminine be feminine in your dressing you might have to ask somebody how this thing looks <laughs> if knee length fits you wear it don't pull it up too much knee, knee is decent below is good The reason you lose your guys is that you show too much. This lady wears this tight thing. Everybody likes it. You go and wear You forgot that you have two pillowcases on the side. <laughs> Find what covers all those things. And you look good. What you need to do, femininity is what you need to project. It's a magneto. You know, they don't teach us these things in the church. I and mean, a lot of people are paying there for it. In the name of religion. Religion has killed so many. Femininity is what you need to project. Some of them will be doing worship. You will be looking. Femininity. You don't need to project your boss. You don't need to project what should be covered. Femininity. Femininity is a powerful force. God created it. You know God is the one that designed womanhood. Holy God. That means this femininity is also holy. Plus the magnet inside it. Even those who are married, though, as some things have finished, that your husband that doesn't that takes you for granted, that doesn't know your value. You'll be wondering what is happening to him now. Men are marrying over age women, leaving young girls that are not touched. Because even a girl that is over age that knows the secret, gets husband before the one that is young. You think he's about age? You don't have to be beautiful to get a husband. It has nothing to do with beauty. <laughs> Let me just offer a few advice. But God's word backs the things I'm telling you. Hear this. There are 24 laws of engagement 
if every girl is taught it from the time they were babies i uh, just growing up i mean young girls coming up no girl will look for a husband because there is a husband for every woman and there is a woman for every man it should be the children of the kingdom who should know these things to seize all the husbands in the market and if you know it they will follow you to church oh. they will when this age now when women and men there's no difference in the workplace so a lot of ladies think that they can translate that into relationship go and check those women they are frustrated they are isolated they are abandoned they keep having heartbreak after heartbreaks because they take on some of the masculine roles that society has conferred on them now it used to be that women will work at home or stay at home and then play the supportive role the man is a hunter who goes to get the food and get all that and the woman support but society has changed and some of the, the the roles are blurred now it used to be a man men provide it's not exactly like that some women earn more than their husbands and they command men in the offices they drive trailers these days i, I saw them in u.s they, they are in the army they are in all kinds of places now men are aggressors by by design they are hunters god made them that way whenever you rob a man the pleasure of pursuing you even if he gets you he loses the pleasure of eating the meat that's why men leave women there are 24 rules of engagement and we're going to deal with some of these things there are 24 anybody that knows them cannot be abandoned you can't you stop having heartbreaks in the first place if you marry at all you enjoy your marriage because breaking those rules sometimes sometimes because there is this few percent of men that you can chase and they will still fall for it majority of men when you chase them they disappear